Wordy Nerd here, back with another video. Today, we'll be looking at caster wheels. Caster wheels are a very important aspect in many FLL robots, as they can change a robot's compactness, speed, maneuverability, and even the ability to just get around. Caster wheels help support the robot, and they are like the wheels that don't drive. While not as important as your drive wheels, they change many aspects of your robot and are therefore very important to your robot. In this video, we will learn about caster wheels, how to pick the best caster wheel for your robot, and the pros and cons of many different types of caster wheels. Let's hop right in. Now, some of you may be asking yourselves, what exactly is a caster wheel? Well, essentially, a caster wheel is a wheel that helps drive the robot, although it is not powered by a motor. An example of a, a caster wheel is the gray piece you see with the metal ball in it here, called the ball caster. This is a very good caster wheel to use in FLL. A caster wheel should be compact, multi-directional, smooth, and easy to use. In this video, we will be covering some good caster wheels for your robot and all FLL robots. The first type of caster wheel we will be looking at looks like the simplest of the bunch. However, do not be fooled. This is hard to implement into many robots, which is why I don't recommend it. Another reason I do not like this caster wheel is because, as you can see, it only has one wheel, making it hard to turn and pivot, especially when you need to have maneuverability in FLL, as well as reliability. The height is a problem, and since it is hard to implement into most robots, you don't find it very often. It does not get stuck in the plywood pieces of the mat, however, so that is a bonus. It also rolls very smoothly. Let's see this on the robot. These are what the caster wheels look like on the robot I call Pluto. If you haven't watched my video on Pluto, an amazing FLO robot, I recommend you go watch that because it covers many important points for building a good robot in FLO. As you can see, I have to take a few, uh, quite a few pieces out to put these caster wheels in, which is something you don't want to do. You want it to be easy to implement into most robots, which this caster wheel isn't. When turning, if you pivot, it will not work, and even if you move both wheels, it still may be unreliable, which is everything that you don't want in FLL. The next type of caster wheel we will be looking at is this one. It looks kind of weird, but you may recognize it from somewhere. And that is shopping carts. Shopping carts run on this type of caster wheel. As you can see, it can pivot 360 degrees on a very flexible hinge. It has two wheels, and since it can pivot, it allows it to be good for turning. I really do love this type of caster wheel. The only problem is that the wheels are hard to implement because you can't change the grips, and they are rather uncompact. They take up a lot of space because of the need to pivot around. If you have it as, as a setup as small as this, it won't be stable, making it unreliable. It does move in all directions though, and when turning, it is fairly smooth, so I have to give it that. But I feel like there are better caster wheel options out there. This is definitely an improvement from the last type of caster wheel. However, it takes up too much space, so I don't like it. It also doesn't turn as well as some of the other caster wheels because of the time it takes to pivot. Another problem with this wheel is the stability and strength of the mechanism itself. Since you can't have that many points attached to the robot because you need to have it to pivot, it is very unstable and not very strong. You need to have it strong and you will get judging points off for this, which is highly likely. This can also make your robot more unreliable because of the friction of the plastic against the board, which you do not want. This is another reason why I do not recommend this wheel, although it is definitely an improvement from the last one. This is another type of caster wheel I want to talk about. And really, it isn't even a wheel. As you can see, it is simply an L piece mounted on a stick. I have seen this in competition, however. I have seen it in many different shapes and forms. Not always an L piece, but something else. It usually has a long slide kind of area, which allows it to balance on the board. This really isn't even a wheel. It is really non-directional because it creates friction in almost every direction but forward and backward. This makes it hard to turn, although it e is easy to implement into most robots, it really isn't ideal. It gets stuck in the plywood pieces between the mat and it makes it hard to climb obstacles. 
I really do not recommend this type of caster wheel, if you can even call it a wheel. And last, but most certainly not least, is the ball caster wheel. I believe this is the best caster wheel for FLL and almost any FLL robot. After all, it was built to be a caster wheel. As you can see, it is a metal ball within a plastic compartment that can rotate very smoothly. This ball can rotate 360 degrees, allowing it to be multi-directional, compact, and easy to integrate into almost every robot. That is why I think this caster wheel is the best for FLL. It beats every other caster wheel in every other, in every other subject. The, this caster wheel is also fairly cheap and inexpensive, making it good for FLL teams. Here is another view of the caster wheel. As you can see, it is very compact. Occasionally, you may have to use an axle and use the hole above it to pop out the wheel to get out the dirt and grease, which may make it run less smoothly than normal. Reliability is everything in FLL, and this allows for great reliability because it runs smoothly and is compact, easy to integrate into most robots. This is really all you need in a caster wheel, and that is why I think it is the best caster wheel for FLL. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and learned something. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. And if you want to, check out my website, which has a link in the description. It has tips, tricks, and more. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you soon.